Hello, everybody. I'm Tyler Ellison. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am going to dive into the channeling state and I'm going to bring Ryoka of the Sasani Fourth, where he is going to deliver to us some new messages, techniques, and ideas to really kickstart your spring season. So I hope you all have a wonderful time in today's video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll see you when we're finished. <laughs> All right, we thank you all for joining us for today's video. In this video, we shall describe to you an exercise, a permission slip, a tool you can use to accelerate your relationship with what we would describe as personal ET or extra dimensional contact. Now, as many of you are well aware, what you would call global open contact is still a few years away. And this is because certain societal changes, cultural changes need to take place on your planet to prepare your species for the acceleration that will come from extraterrestrial and extra dimensional open contact. So think of the period of time between now and then as your species preparatory period. On the individual level, you can use this time to really refine yourself, to really refine your energies, to really refine your relationships in a way that is balanced and guided by your passion, your joy. And we remind you that these energies of passion and joy translate as your signature frequency. When you are a spirit, pre-incarnate, you exist in the realms of heaven, you exist in the realms of light, and those are the qualities of those realms, ecstasy, joy, blissfulness. So as you follow those feelings, which are not sensations, they are completely different than your physical sensations and your physical emotions. When you follow these feelings that are representative of that signature frequency, when you act upon your joy, when you act upon your bliss, you're grounding the energies from those higher spiritual dimensions into the physical reality experience, thus creating what you call heaven on earth. Right now, many of you on the planet are choosing to live your lives in such a way to the best of your abilities. And that mindset, that mentality, that way of life is contagious. It spreads. As you continue to do this, as you continue to be a way shower, you inspire those around you. You inspire those whom perhaps have been using only the old paradigm to create their realities. And as this way of life begins to catch on, things individually and collectively become easier, more streamlined, more simplified, thus accelerating your preparations for contact through living your lives in a way that mirrors how all of us 
within the Sasani civilization live our lives. As a permission slip, as a tool, as an exercise that you can do to accelerate your personal relationship with contact, pay attention. Your physical reality, of course, is an illusion. It is a type of dream reality matrix that you have created individually and collectively. Now, keep in mind, that does not mean that your physical reality is a lie necessarily, but what it does mean is the physical reality, in a sense, is a distortion. And we will explain. Energies from the higher and lower dimensions are filtered through your consciousness, through your nervous system. Your nervous system and brain configure these higher and lower dimensional signals and bits of information in a way that creates the projection of being in a physical reality experience. It creates the projection that you're in a body. It creates the projection that you are on Earth. But what you are actually interacting with is quite different than what appears to be before you. So... Knowing that you are creating this physical reality projection using the subtle energies that you receive, you can, in a sense, hack the hologram, as you say. Now, what does this mean? As you expand your imagination... You expand your relationship and connections with the astral plane. The astral plane has different divisions within it that can be categorized in the following way. The low astral, the moderate astral, the high astral. Extraterrestrial beings, extra dimensional beings occupy the level of astral that you would call moderate to high. As you begin to expand your imagination through visualization practices, you begin to tune in to those higher echelons and levels of the astral plane. This begins to allow for connection and communication from the beings of these levels to be realized within you and around you. The permission slip tool, the exercise is the following. When you find yourself in public, when you find yourself exploring your physical reality, begin to imagine that you are not actually on Earth. Begin to imagine that you are, in fact, on an extraterrestrial planet. Begin to imagine that those that you encounter are in fact not human beings, but are actually extraterrestrials projecting into the physical reality through the body, the form of the person that you see before you. When you are observing vehicles moving, imagine that these are not your usual automobiles. Begin to imagine that they are in fact spacecraft. When you are consuming foods, do not think that you are consuming Earth foods. Instead, see the foods as something highly exotic from an alien world. When you are consuming liquids, your beverages, begin to imagine you are consuming exotic beverages from other worlds. At first, this exercise will be incredibly subtle, and it may feel a little silly. However, should you sustain that state of being and mindset, what you will find is the genuine extraterrestrial energies that are present within your physical reality will begin to reveal themselves to you. And the extra dimensional and extraterrestrial energies within you will become heightened and activated through such a mentality and mindset. For remember that the DNA, 
that makes up your human body is not originally from Earth. The genome of the human form may have been developed in a certain way on Earth, but the genetic components that make up such a genome are only partially of Earth. Many of those genetic components are, in fact, extraterrestrial. So the DNA within you knows what it is like to be off planet, to be in a new world. That's actually inside of you. It's in your code. This type of exercise will begin to activate that. Now, keep in mind, this is an advanced permission slip tool. Like we said at first, it will be subtle. But as you sustain the state, it will become more powerful and things will feel increasingly more and more alien. As a result of this, you will find that your upper chakras begin to open. It is of significant importance that you are responsible with this permission slip. Allow for yourself to spend time in nature regularly if you're using this permission slip. And... Allow for yourself, of course, time to turn it off, to, in a sense, return to Earth, to, in a sense, return to the physical reality dream. So your relationships and your connections don't become too alien. It is important that you maintain a sense of being anchored, rooted, and grounded, so you can still function in physical reality in a passionate and efficacious way. Obviously, too much of this permission slip can, in a sense, synchronize one to off-world realities while they are, of course, still physically anchored into the Earth experience. And this can create the sensation of reality overlay. That's very useful for contact. That's how the bubble realities of contact are formed. But too much of that can cause disorientation. So use this tool responsibly, if you wish, you can devote an hour a day to really basking in this mindset and see what takes place, see what changes. Do this for about a week. And while you're doing this, use the practices that you know to commune psychically, telepathically, meditationally with different guides, with different extraterrestrials. You'll find the connection gets stronger. You'll find the communication becomes clearer. And if this exercise, if this permission slip is perfected, it can allow for you to, in a sense, remove the physical veils and the energetic veils that obfuscate your awareness of the astral overlay that is ever present. Because remember, all of these different levels of reality, physical, etheric, astral, mental, spiritual, they're all layered on top of each other. Your species is more used to that physical level. Through this type of imaginative projection, you dissolve that veil so the astral overlay that is naturally present becomes exposed. And again, with that type of astral vision, it is important to maintain a strong connection to the earth a strong connection to the consensus reality, and of course, a strong connection to the health and vitality of your relationship with yourself and others. So you can use this as a positive tool to expand your perspectives and to deepen contact. If you use it responsibly, it will assist you tremendously, and you will learn many secrets about yourself and the physical reality matrix that you will never forget. So, we thank you for receiving this technique, this permission slip, and we look forward to speaking to you all once more in a new way, on a new day, in a new expression of the here and now. Our unconditional love and appreciation to you always. Good day. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me for that wonderful video. I hope your spring season is treating you well, and I hope you're feeling great. So, my friends, stay tuned. We're going to be having some more events. This Sunday on Easter, we have the Cosmic Alphabet Ryoka transmission, where he's going to go 
even more deep into what he's described as hacking the hologram, physical reality, through language, through sound, through numbers. So I invite you to that and stay tuned because we are soon going to be announcing our spring and summer training programs. So if you want to develop your psychic skills, if you want to learn how to channel, if you want to know how to turn negativity into bliss, these programs are for you. So stay tuned, my friends. And as always, many blessings upon you. Thank you for your continued support, for the love that you share, and for being you. Talk to you all again soon.